Hi everyone, in this video, we will be going over A-Level Accounting 2020, February, March, Paper 2 to question number 2. This is the structured paper 2, which consists of 4 questions. Two of them are of 30 marks and two of them are of 15 marks. And we're also given a time limit of 1 hour and 30 minutes. And since question number 2 is of 15 marks, ideally, we should be spending about 15 minutes in order to solve this question. And in this video as well, we will be attempting to solve this question under 15 minutes. So without any further delay, let's get started. Depreciation is provided for by a business when accounting for non-current assets. For the first part, we need to state three possible causes of depreciation. So the very first one is going to be wear and tear. The second one could be passage of time because with time, the machine's value is going to degrade, right? And then the third one could be technological changes because with new technology, the machines functioning on old technology will decrease in value. All right. For the second part, we need to explain two accounting concepts which are applied when providing for depreciation. Okay, so the very first concept could be the matching concept. And this concept states that the cost of the assets should be matched with the income generated over the lifetime of the asset. Let's write it down. The cost of the asset should be matched with the income generated over the lifetime of the asset. Okay, then the second concept could be prudence concept. This is because the prudence concept states that we should not be overstating our profits or the values for assets. And in this case, the values for non-current assets. Let's write it down. To avoid overstating profits, and non-current assets. This concludes the first part. We can now move towards the second one. We're given additional information. The directors of Key Limited prepare financial statements to 31st December. They have provided the following information. We're given the balances at 1st January 2019 for cost and provision for depreciation of motor vehicles. Then during the year ended 31st December 2019, a new motor vehicle was acquired for 50000 all right, then a motor vehicle which had cost 40,000 had been depreciated by 17,500 was sold for 16,500. Okay, then the company policy is to depreciate motor vehicles at 25% per annum using the reducing balance method. Under reducing balance method, the depreciation rate is to be charged to the net book value rather than the cost. And a full year's depreciation is charged in the year of acquisition and none in the year of disposal. Okay, let's have a look at the question. We first need to prepare the motor vehicle's provision for depreciation account for the year ended 31st December 2019. And this is the provision for depreciation account, which will decrease the value of the assets, right? So we can term it as our liability and the opening balances for all of our liabilities will always be on the credit side. So is the case for motor vehicle provision for depreciation account. So the opening balance is at the date of 1st January 2019. And this is balance brought down let's have a look above we were given the motor vehicles provision for depreciation at the date of first january 2019 to be 105,000. let's write this amount then the next step would be to deduct the accumulated depreciation of the disposed asset right and in this case we were told that the vehicle which had the cost 40,000 and had been depreciated by 17,500, which just means that this is our accumulated depreciation, was sold for 16,500. So the next step would be to deduct this amount of 17,500 from the provision for depreciation. And remember that all of the inclusion or increments are to be recorded on the side of our opening balance, whereas the decrements are to be recorded on the opposite side, which just means that that decrement caused by the disposal of assets should be recorded on the debit side. Let's do that. 
and we're not given any specific date which just means that we should be writing it under the last or the ending date which is 31st december 2019 and this is of disposals which had the accumulated depreciation of 17,500. All right, then the next step is to also include the depreciation charge for the year, right? And that will definitely increase the provision for depreciation and those increments will be recorded on the side with the opening balance, which in this case is the credit side. So that's going to be 31st December 2019. And remember that our depreciation charge for the year should be included in our income statement, which means that the heading under which we will record that amount is also going to be income statement. Let's figure out our depreciation. Okay, so first of all, we need to figure out our net book value, right? So that's going to be the cost of 180,000. But we also disposed uh, a motor vehicle, right? And its cost should no longer be included. So I'm just going to reduce that cost of 40,000. Then we also included or acquired a new motor vehicle whose cost should be now included. So that will be plus 50,000. So this is the total cost, right? And in order to figure out the net book value, we just need to subtract our accumulated depreciation from cost. So that's minus the accumulated depreciation of 105,000. Then we also need to no longer include the accumulated depreciation of the disposed vehicle. And that's 17,500. So I'm just going to reduce that so that it's no longer included. And we do not have any accumulated depreciation for the newly acquired motor vehicle. So that is all. Now this will give our net book value. And in order to figure out the total depreciation charge, we just need to multiply it with the rate of depreciation, which is given to be 25%. So that's 0.25. This gives our depreciation charge to be 25,625. Let's include this. This concludes all of the items to be included in our motor vehicle provision for depreciation account, which means that we can now move towards figuring out the closing balance. And since the opening balance is on the credit side, the closing balance will be on the debit side. And this is at the ending date of 31st December 2019. Okay, let's first figure out the total from the heavier side. So that's the sum of these two amounts, 105,000 plus 25,625, which results in 130,625. Same is the case for debit side. Now, in order to figure out this closing balance, this now acts as the balancing figure. And in order to figure that out, we just need to subtract this amount from the total. In this case, that's 130,625 minus 17,500, which results in 113,125. Now, the next step would be to write down this closing balance as the opening balance for the next period. So that's going to be for the date of 1st January 2020. This now acts as our opening balance with the same amount of 113,125. This concludes the motor vehicle provision for depreciation account. Let's move towards the next one. We now need to create the disposal account. Let's recall the format for disposal account. We first start with the cost on the debit side, then we write down our provision for depreciation or the accumulated depreciation of the disposed asset on the credit side. Then we write down the sales proceeds, the amount that we received after disposing, and then we write down our profit on the debit side and the loss on the credit side. All right, let's start with the cost. And this will be at the date on which the vehicle is being disposed, which is the ending date for us because we aren't really specified because we have not been given this specific date. So that's 31st December 2019. Let's have a look above. The cost is 40,000 and the provision for depreciation is 17,500. Let's write it down. That's 40,000. Then the provision for depreciation. It was 17,500. Then we need to record the sales proceeds, right? And we assume that the sales proceeds is being banked. So we write it under the heading of bank. Let's have a look above. We are told that it was sold for 16,500. So this amount is our sales proceeds. Let's write it down. 
Okay, now in order to figure out whether there was a profit or a loss, that amount will act as our balancing figure. So we just need to figure out our heavier side first. The total for the debit side is 40,000. And the total for the credit side is the sum of these two amounts, 17,500 plus 16,500, which results in 34,000. So clearly our debit side is the heavier side, which means that we require our balancing figure to be on the credit side. So that's the income statement. And this amount now represents the loss. Again, this is at the date of 31st December 2019. The total is going to be 40,000 for both sides. Now this income statement acts as a balancing figure, which means that we need to deduct these two amounts from the total in order to figure out the balance. So that's 40,000 minus 17,500 minus 16,500, which results in 6,000. All right, this concludes the disposal account as well as the entire question number two of 2020, February, March, paper 2-2. Two, two. If you found this video useful, make sure you like the video and leave a comment below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any of these videos in the future. Thank you.